How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this very fishy video that CNN put on their Facebook page. It's supposed to be of a mother reuniting with her seven year old son, and they're supposed to be from El Salvador. Now, this video, I, I mean, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know it's fake, it's 100% fake, but I just want to present the video to you and let you make your own mind up. Of course, I'll give you my two cents, but we got to see this. I've not really seen anybody cover this, so I need to be on it. CNN has this on their website, but on their website, they show a truncated video that's on Twitter. The Facebook video, I feel like they want to delete because it really is pretty egregious in how fake it looks, but they can't because it has so many views and so many of their people that are on their page commenting believe in it. But we're going to see this video straight from the beginning and I'll give you my two cents. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. This is the first time as we see together that this 25 year old woman is able to hold her child. Let's go ahead and listen in, Poppy. OK, before they even get into it. And just so you know, I will stop it quite a bit and I may talk over it a little bit just so they won't try to claim this video. CNN it is. But OK. I'm not really seeing a kid who is too enthusiastic to meet his so-called mother. I'm not seeing that at all. And he has a haircut. I see the little lines on the back of his head. He has the the uh, the squared off edges. She has paint on her nails. You can see that right here in the bottom left hand side of the screen. They look better than a lot of American citizens as far as their appearance is concerned. So automatically I'm doubting the validity of this video. But let's keep going. Now, one thing that was said in the comments as far as people that were able to speak Spanish and translate it, and if you can understand what they're saying, let me know in the box. But one thing that they were saying is that he was asking, hey, where is X, Y, and Z person? I guess he was supposed to meet his auntie. Maybe he had been promised that he'd be able to meet his auntie or his mom or somebody, but that wasn't the case. You have this random lady. That's why he's looking around kind of confused, like, okay, where's my auntie? Where's my mom? And she's pointing off in the distance, but there's nobody there. He's like, I don't see her. I don't see what's going on. So he's kind of confused. This is why he is not affectionate towards this woman. Yeah, no, no embrace. I mean, and she's look, looking at the camera like, okay, was that good? Did, did we do a good job? He's like, you know, staying close to himself. He's not really trying to interact with this woman. He doesn't know who this is. And at this point right here, I think she has some type of acknowledgement of the fact that this ain't really going the way that she would like. It's not very convincing at all. Some say that this is a form of separation anxiety, but according to the article from CNN, they've only been separated for about a month. A month is some change. This kind of behavior right here does not happen after a month. It happens after a very long time, and it may happen in kind of a war-torn situation. Obviously, this little boy has been fed very well, haircuts, nice clothes. He does not look to be in any kind of physical distress or emotional distress. He's not crying. He's not doing anything. He's just like, yo, where's my auntie? Who are you, basically? So, Poppy, as we wait to see what comes next, let me tell you a little bit about Brenda, the woman in that light color. And why is she mic'd up? You know, like, what is this right here? Why is she mic'd up? I don't understand. Okay, like, I've seen plenty of cell phone videos and stuff like that where the audio is perfectly able to be heard, even with the background audio. Really, I think micing her up kind of worked against them because it would have been better if the audio was not as clear because people that would speak Spanish can't hear what's said and translate it which breaks apart their whole thing here. T-shirt walking with her son now. They were separated on the 27th of May. 
She and her son had crossed the border illegally. Now, here comes the sister. I'm not really sure who this is. The reporter in the background is talking about the so-called mother and the so-called son, but they're not talking about this man and this little girl. I suppose that's his little sister. I, I'm not really sure, but you'll see the interaction and then you'll see why this video is really just not valid, in my humble opinion. Legally, according to what her uh, legal representation has, has told us. And um... now, did you see that? Let's 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 go back. Let's go back. Let me see if I can go back now. OK, if I've not seen my little sister for a long time and she hasn't seen me, I don't have any siblings, but I got little cousins and whatnot. You would have to he wouldn't have to be holding her hands and then like forcibly make them hug. This is this is child abuse. We want to talk about child abuse, family separation. This is child abuse. The kids are just kids. They didn't do anything. They didn't just walk across the border themselves. You get these adults who are orchestrating this whole situation, seeing in these people who who knows who they are. They could be actors. I don't know what's going on. Random people that speak Spanish. I have no idea who these people are. The kids don't know them. The adults here don't know each other because there would have been some kind of acknowledgement between the two of them. Not just this man coming with the daughter and then making the beeline straight to the boy. It would have been to the mother as well. See? The representation has, has told us, and um, she had her attorneys believe that they were separated so that Brenda, who you see here, could face these criminal charges under President Trump. And uh, see, you see, the, the like, he is over here touching on these kids. This is this is really, like, you need to put a report out on this guy. Who, who knows who that is? And then this woman is over here just like observing not even interacting zero tolerance policy these charges for illegal entry her attorney's telling me that that never happened uh, but they say the damage was done when this child was taken away from uh, her mother i can tell you that this is a moment that they have waited for for a very long uh, time. oh really is that so i can't tell because from what i've been able to see so far nobody knows each other nobody the adults don't know each other the kids don't know each other. The kids don't know the adults. Nobody knows each other. These are all strangers. Uh, especially as Brenda has been separated from her son for, for, for a while now. They tell me that they were separated not long after that, uh, after she was detained at the border. She was taken to Colorado and then eventually taken here to the Washington, D.C. area. And by the way, um, they said they were separated, right? They said that the one was taken from arizona to colorado okay that makes sense because it's like the next state up but the boy was taken to miami why did you go from arizona to miami maybe that happened but why so far as for her child well he ended up in florida uh one of the many children who have been taken care of have been taken care of here by the government and her mother has been searching for for weeks now to be able to 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 reunite Hold with her. And her mother has been searching for for weeks now. why is he controlling her hands why is he doing that you know one thing i know about little kids they're energetic the the adult would not have to be making the girl touch the little boy you know like i said i got little cousins this girls they touch you beyond your face messing with you annoying you you would not have to have the adult physically move the child's hands like they are a puppet in order to get a little boy's attention or to annoy him that right there this whole thing here is not natural now to be able to 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 reunite with her child and here we are poppy this is a moment that many of these Look, the little uh, girls looking around like okay where's my mom where's my dad where's my auntie who are these people i don't know them attorneys have told us does yeah. not happen enough uh and so as we step back here for a little while and give brenda some time with her son uh, it's just important to, to her son to, really to, see these pictures here these are these family reunifications that again many people say are just not happening fast enough polo polo let me it's remarkable to see <laughs> uh, let me ask you if, if you fake, know anything about how this happened they were struggling to find out exactly where this child was and this is what uh, uh this is why they work so hard to make this happen here is to deal with the databases work with the Reporter, you got to be ashamed of yourself. You know that this ain't real. You know it's not going right. You should have just, at that point, whistleblowed on CNN. If that's the word, blew the whistle, whistleblowed, whatever. You should have said something here because you know this ain't going right. You know that this is totally phony. 
Hey, who are these people hugging? Wait a minute. Okay, let's let's go back. Okay. Now you have this guy in the red hugging this lady, but he didn't hug the person. Is that supposed to be his wife? Is it supposed to be who is that? There's no interaction between these adults. Let me see if I can just scroll back a little bit. These two people are not interacting. The little boy is just lost in space. And the little girl is the same way. These are all strangers. I need to put this video out here because I didn't see it online anywhere. And I was concerned that this wouldn't get any kind of attention. See, I'm to be told all these horror stories about family separation, uh, saying that this is inhumane. This is child abuse. The kids are traumatized. They're treated badly. These kids are more well-dressed and look to be more well-fed than your average American kid. It's the truth. I mean, a little boy has a haircut. I remember uh, certain times in the summer, uh, a lot of kids wouldn't even get a haircut until right before the school year started. This kid is out here, you know, playing with toys. I heard he had like a remote car. That's what somebody said in the comments on the original post. That some, he got a remote car, was playing with that, getting haircuts outside, playing. So I'm not really trying to hear any sob stories. If the problem was as bad as CNN and other outlets would say, then there would be no need to stage something like this. Now, again, this is my opinion. Don't anybody sue me talking about libel, slander, whatever thing you want to call it. I'm just observing the thing and giving you my honest opinion. What say you? Do you think that this video is real? Do you think that these people really know each other, that these are truly uh, separated children from these parents? Who are these people? That's what I want to know. Have you seen them before? Have you seen them on television in Central America, wherever they come from? They say that the woman comes from Honduras. Who knows where she comes from? She could be from Los Angeles. You never know. And why are they in the airport? First of all, how did they get there? See, that's something I talked about before when I say that these so-called uh, undocumented migrants, a lot of times when they get to the border, they're given a plane ticket to wherever they want to go in the world. Why are they in the airport? Why are they not at a detention center or something like that? How did they get from A to B? Who set this up? Who are these kids? Where are their real parents? That's what I want to know. You want to talk about family separation, yet you're filming a thing that does not appear them to actually be getting back together. You're just putting this out here as propaganda and people eat it up talking about, oh, this separation anxiety. Not after a month. This is not normal. People that were in the comments, again, were saying that they foster kids and Sometimes it may just be over there for a short period of time, a month or two, just so the mother or father can get themselves together. And then when they get back reunited, the reunification is often emotional. It's not like this where people are just looking around, odd body language, forced hugs. Come on. And beyond that, Trump already signed the executive order that keeps families together. OK, so if these people know each other, they can get deported together. How about that? Rather than getting a plane ticket, being in the airport, being able to go wherever they want to go in the U.S. on your dime. A lot of Americans have never stepped foot on an airplane before. OK, it's people that are in their 50s and 60s that have never flown before because they can't afford to. But yet you could be an illegal immigrant, get three hots, a cat, haircuts, uh, everything that you need, plane tickets, whatever. But I'm to be told that we need to be fighting for you. It does not make any sense. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.